Hi, it's Keely from Sell Beyond. Are you eager to start adding promotions to your Amazon catalogue but not sure how? We're here to show you how to make a promo code. I'm here today to teach you how to make a promo code on your Amazon. So firstly, we want to go to Amazon Seller Central, onto Advertising and then Manage Promotions. Here you'll get an option of either creating a promotion, managing your promotions or managing your product selection. So we're going to go into create. So on step one conditions, we get to pick the quantity of items for your buyer to qualify for the promotion. So you can either do it in terms of the aggregate cost, the quantity of items they're about to get, or in terms of the items that they've just purchased. So we're going to do it in terms of quantity of items. You next get the choice to pick which parts of your inventory you'd like to be eligible for the discount. So you can pick entire catalogue, but you can also pick a specific item or set of items. We're going to pick the entire catalogue. Next under buyer gets, you get to choose whether it's the amount off in the currency, which is pounds for us, or the percentage off. Percentage off works especially well for products with a lower price point. So for example, if you have something that's slightly cheaper, then adding the discount of 20% rather than say five pounds or two pounds or 50 pence even, the percentage sounds a lot higher and it makes it look a lot more appealing to customers. Next, you get to choose whether the discount applies to purchased items or an additional item. With additional items, you can also add a specific ASIM, which is a really great way of adding an upsell. So we're gonna go for purchased items. With purchased items, you get then get the drop down of tiers, which is different types of percentages and discounts that you can add to your promo codes. And basically you can have a number of different ones going on at the same time. Later on in the video, I'll show you how to make sure that only one of these discounts runs at the same time. So for now, we're going to pick just the one, which would be additional items. And you can choose to also exclude a certain item if you wish. So say one item's got a much higher price point and you don't want to include it in the discount, then you can press that and that'll make sure that that one doesn't get touched. The next step is scheduling your promo to go over a certain amount of time. So on the Amazon page here, it'll always come through as the date that it currently is and the end date as well is what, what it'll currently be. So you need to change those. When you're changing your dates and times, just make sure that the promotion begins four hours ahead of the time you're currently in as Amazon won't accept the promo unless it is four hours ahead. So it already is four hours ahead, but just make sure when you're making changes. Then you have the internal description. We've just done a quick one just to, for reference, which is October test one, 2020. And that's just so internally you can test a measure. Under step three, you now have the choice of your additional options. This is where you get to pick your claim codes. So we'll start with none. None is the only one that's automatic. So when in the basket process, when your buyers are about to press and buy everything, None is the way of claiming a code without them having to do anything, so it's automatic. Then you have group and single use. So single use is a promo code that is made of 16 digit randomized string of numbers and letters, and you use it once. You also have the group codes, which are unlimited until the end of the promo, which you get to brand, or you can either use the randomized codes that they give you. And then throughout all of these codes, you can choose whether they are one redemption per customer or not. But just make sure that with the one redemptions per customer that they're not getting too much of an amazing discount. Underneath this, you have the claim code combinability. And this is similar to what we were saying up here with the amount of items that you can tier with all the discounts. So we want to make sure that you're not putting too much discount on one specific item or your whole catalog. So with preferential, only one promo will be ap applied to the purchase. So if the customer attempts to add multiple promotions, this the promo with the greatest discount will be applied. So this is a good choice for sellers who are offering multiple types of promotion for the same product selection. Preferential is quite a good one. Unrestricted is another one which is unrestricted in its nature. So you've just got to be cautious before you choose this option, especially when you're using the, the group claim code, because this option means your promotion can be stacked along with other promotions that are running for your products. And this could result in you giving multiple discounts for one order, and we don't want that. 
if you've got any large discounts that you've got across your catalog maybe go for the single use um, just as group codes don't have a quantity limit so if you do have quite a large discount that you're trying to do to either get rid of some stock or you've got something perhaps in the run up to Christmas that you want to really get off the shelves and start to get some reviews, maybe a single use promo code would be really good because then you can monitor the amount of people that are using the discount. Whereas if you were to use the group one, it would be over a certain amount of time and there would not be a quantity limit as it just says here. So now we've picked our claim code. So we've gone for group code. We've gone for one redemption per customer and we've gone for preferential. So this means it is restricted and it will only choose the most expensive discount, the best for the customer. And then we get a choice to customize the messaging. So customizing the messaging, we can choose to change the type of text that comes when it says promo applied. You could add a little exclamation mark or something, change the entire copy to make it more to your branding. And the same you've got here for the type of purchased items, your detailed display text, and there's the term and conditions at the bottom. So you can customize it and really make your boring copy that comes with the Amazon part of your branding. Once you've done all of that, then you just have to go and press review and you'll get a little drop down, making sure everything's gone through for you.